So you can't solder um, ABS wires, but we can do this. See your light. This is a low heat solder in the middle. Low temperature, melting point. <laughs> And, and what we want to do, we're going to let this cool. You don't want to touch them while they're still hot because it'll pull right apart. But if we let that cool off, I'm going to show you. We'll do a stress test on it. I'm going to pull on it. We'll see how well it held. Now, some of these um, ABS wires, they don't solder all that well, but we'll, we may end up having to use a crimp style heat shrink butt connector if this doesn't work for this. But my son, uh, Caleb and I were doing some experimenting with these and um, I was really surprised at how strong they were with regular copper wire doing it like this. You can see that solder melted in the mm -hmm. middle. I just don't know, I'm concerned about the ABS wires and their soldering capability because it's not copper wire, it's something different. Some type of alloy, pretty much. That's incredible. That'd take me 20 minutes just to... Uh, just to try to solder yeah. it. That's still a little bit warm. I'm not going to stress it yet. I, I, I want to... Um, I don't want to do the other one if this doesn't hold. I'm hoping it does. When I first used these, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'll, I'll show you a bigger one so you can see it. When I first used them, I thought you had to crimp the center part, you know, and you don't. When you look at the procedure they teach you on the manufacturer, they tell you to do it exactly like I just did. No crimping at all. Just twist the wires together. Use the lighter. This is a low temperature solder and it melts down through it. And Caleb and I even took, we cut it apart when we were done and we um, noted to see how well it melted through the wires and it melted all the way through. So let's see how well this held. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm a fan. So that's one. I, got I didn't even no, need it. This stuff. stuff's like, yeah. To say the least. <laughs> in fact, believe it or not, a lighter works really well in a pinch for stuff like that. That's one. Those are incredibly useful. For this application, I think it's it is the way to do it. Oh, I mean, it, this beats like changing the wheel speed sensor. So, and and again, we're fifteen bucks. Again, we're meshing these together. Some, one of my subscribers actually turned me on to these. He's like, hey, man, you got to try these out. Just so I could give props to who it was. But, yeah, I mean. That's, that saves so much time. Well, I, I think it's more than just time saving. I, I think it's a really effective method of repair, you know. And then the what the manufacturer says is the, the red part on the outside, that's your water seal. Mm -hmm. And then the solder that's on the inside. So um, not only are you melting the solder, but you're also melting that watertight seal on the outside, the red part. The connection in the water. Yep. Yeah. And what we'll do once this, once this cools off, what we'll do is we'll cut this part, shorten some of the harness and then we'll use that wrap and then mm -hmm. we, we, I have some uh, Tessa tape, which is um, good for, you know, it's better than electrical tape, okay. but we can tape that up as a, just as a barrier. 
not for any kind of moisture or anything, but just for protection. And then at this point, what we could be, what we could do to make sure we're good is we can pull the scan tool back up and then just turn this wheel by hand and see if we have a mile per hour reading on this left front. But that is a fix. Here's the, since we're doing some product review, this is the stuff. All right, I'm gonna link these. I think I already did. This is linked on my Amazon page. You can find these on Amazon through my affiliate link. Nice. Cool. Fantastic. So we're clear. This is not my son, Caleb. <laughs> this is a different Caleb. Thanks, School Caleb. Caleb. School Caleb. The other, cam <laughs> the other cameraman, Caleb. I'll take it. We got, we're using some... Uh, get a glare on that. Tessa tape. Which is like a real fibrous... Yeah, it's not like the crappy electrical tape that you buy. I mean, this is not ideal, but it sure beats putting a a new sensor on, you know? Yeah. And and I've been really, really pleased with this test of tape as far as durability and stuff like that. What other uh, applications does it have on it? Uh, engine harness stuff. It's high temperature. Um, it's not waterproof. Like, no, there's no real waterproof tape. You know, that's why we use heat shrink butt connectors and solder and heat shrink and you know the good kind that has the the um uh not glue but whatever it uses the sealant that's inside of it you know you don't want to use heat shrink that doesn't have the sealant this stuff's garbage you don't want to use the heat shrink butt connectors that don't have the sealant in it and this is just going to be more I mean, it's going to help with weather too. I'm pretty sure that this is not weather yeah, weather type. Some of the weather resistant is different than weather proof. Yeah, the the stuff, the tape that's the, the tape that's weatherproof is more of a, a stretchy like. Yeah. But I use this to repair a harness on my RV and um, over a year ago, and it's maybe two years ago, and it's held up really nice. And you can't tear this stuff with your finger. You have to cut it. All right, I like that fix. Now get your bracket back up on there and get this mounted up here, okay? We'll be good to go.